Hello everyone. Welcome to the Lab Cafe Practical Session. Today we are going to talk about how to use a screw gauge. The aim of the experiment is to measure the diameter of a given wire, thickness of a given sheet, and the volume of an irregular lamina using screw gauge. Materials required: a screw gauge, a given wire, a given metallic sheet, irregular lamina with a uniform thickness, graph paper. and a ruler before we start let's briefly discuss about a screw gauge and its working principle in our previous session we have seen a vernier caliper can measure a length up to 0.1 mm a screw gauge is another instrument which can measure up to 0.01 to 0.05 mm thus a screw gauge is much more precise than the vernier caliper in any ordinary screw there are threads The separation between any two consecutive threads is always same. The linear distance advanced by the screw along its axis when it makes one complete rotation is the separation distance between two consecutive threads. This distance is called pitch. It is usually 1 mm or 0.5 mm. When the screw is rotated in a nut, there is a linear motion in addition to the circular motion along its axis. A screw gauge has a screw S which advances forward or backward as one rotate the thimble C or head through the ratchet R. There is a linear scale LS attached to the limb D of the U frame. The measurement of circular rotation of the screw is much easier than the linear distance. This is why there is a circular scale CS on the head of the thimble. There are 50 or 100 divisions on circular scale. When the end of spindle or screw B touches the surface A of the stud or anvil ST, the zero mark on the linear scale and the circular scale should be coincide with each other. The linear scale is also called pitch scale or main scale. To measure a length by a screw gauge, we have to find out a list count, pitch and a zero error the movement of the spindle when the screw is rotated can be observed on the millimeter main scale as we can see this is a screw gauge this 0 to 25 mm means the main scale is from 0 to 25 mm and the head scale has 50 divisions there is a reference line on the main scale now I will set the zero of the circular scale on the same line of the linear scale. Here I bring it at 10 mm on the main scale. Now I rotate the circular scale four times and note the distance advanced by it on the pitch scale. It is observed that the distance is 4 mm. So the pitch P is the distance moved by the screw divided by the number of full rotation given which is 4 by 4 equals to 1 mm. List count by definition the list count is the distance moved by the tip of the screw when the screw is turned through one division. The formula of list count is pitch by total number of divisions on the circular scale which is 1 by 50 equals to 0.02 mm determination of zero error when the stud and the spindle are brought in contact to each other the zero of the circular should coincide with the reference line of the main scale in that case the screw gauge have no zero error however when the zero of the circular scale does not coincide with the reference line of the main scale the screw gauge is said to have a zero error the zero error is said to be positive if on bringing the spindle in contact with stud the zero of the circular scale lies to the bottom of the reference line owing to this error the measured reading will be systematically bigger than the actual value by the same amount hence the error is to be subtracted from the observed reading if on the other hand the zero of the circular lies on top of the reference line then it is said to be negative zero error 
Owing to this error, the measured reading will be systematically smaller than the actual value by the same amount. Hence, the error is to be added to the observed reading. To determine the zero error, I will gently rotate the ratchet to bring the spindle in contact with the stud. A click sound will confirm that the stud and spindle are in touch. If the linear scale is x, circular reading is n, then the zero error can be given by plus minus x plus n lc. In our case, the main scale reading is 1 and the circular scale reading is 1. Therefore, the list count is 1 plus 1 into 0 0.02 which is 1.02 millimeter. Hence, the actual reading should be the major reading minus 1.02 mm. Procedure to measure the diameter of the wire. We will take the screw gauge and insert the straight wire between the stud and spindle. Then gently rotate the ratchet until a click sound is heard. As we can see, the main scale reading is 3 and the circular scale reading is 32. Now, we will rotate the wire 90 degree with respect to its previous position and gently rotate the ratchet until we hear another click sound. As we can see, the main scale reading is 3 and the circular scale reading is 34. This is one set of data collection. We have to collect another 4 to 5 sets of data in different places of the wire. Procedure to measure the thickness of a metal sheet. Take the screw gauge and insert the metal sheet between the stud and spindle. I have taken a metal ruler as a sheet. Then I will gently rotate the ratchet until I heard a click sound. As I can see, the main scale reading is 4 and the circular scale reading is 40. This is one set of data. We will have to collect 3 to 4 more sets of data in different places of the set. Procedure to measure the thickness of an irregular lamina. Take the screw gauge and insert the lamina between the stud and spindle and rotate the ratchet gently until a click sound is heard. As we can see that the main scale reading is 4 and the circular scale reading is 29. Take 3 to 4 more data at different places of the lamina and record the data in the table. Observation one linear scale division LSD equals to 1 millimeter. Total number of divisions in the circular scale N equals to 50. Distance moved by the screw for 4 rotations D equals to 4 millimeter. Pitch of the screw P equals to 4 by D equals to 4 by 4 which is equals to 1 millimeter. Therefore, the list count LC equals to P by N equals to 1 by 50 which is equals to 0 0.02 mm. The positive zero error equals to 1.02 millimeter. The mean actual diameter DW equals to 2.628 millimeter. The mean actual thickness of the sheet T equals to 3.776 millimeter. The mean actual thickness of the irregular lamina equals to 3.55 millimeter. To find the volume of the irregular lamina, I will take a graph paper, I will place it on the table and take the lamina, place it on the graph paper. Mark the boundary with a sharp pencil. And then I will count how many square are there within this boundary. The boundary may contain fractions of many squares. Now count those squares which have fractions greater than half within the boundary. Calculation. The number of small squares enclosed by the boundary NL equals to 2195. The actual thickness 
TL equals to 3.55 millimeter. Therefore, the area of the lamina A equals to NL into 1 millimeter square, which is equals to 2195 millimeter square. Therefore, the volume of the lamina V equals to A into TL, which is equals to 2195 into 3.55 equals to 7792.25 millimeter cube, which is 7.79 centimeter cube. Precautions. The wire should not be pressed tightly between the stud and spindle. Instrumental error should be determined and necessary corrections should be taken. Repeated readings are necessary at different places to ensure uniformity of the wire. Diameter should be measured in one direction and then the perpendicular direction at the same place to see whether it is uniform. Parallax error should take care of. The mile head is always be turned into the same direction otherwise backslash error will be occurred. So these are the step by step procedure to do the experiment using a screw gauge. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like it please share it with your friends. Do not forget to like and subscribe our channel for more videos. Feel free to ask and comment in the comment section if you have any doubts. We will see you in the next video.